Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making more progress towards the Turbo Civic. And what I mean by that is that we're going to be working on like the tuning solution for this car. So ever since I like committed to doing the turbo kit, the biggest thing that I've been confused about has been how to tune this car, how to deal with the ECU, what is chipping, what is data logging, like just how to tune, you know? I don't really know much about tuning, but I think I finally figured out what I'm gonna do for the Honda. However, as you probably noticed, the audio quality right now is probably terrible and the video quality is probably subpar compared to what you're used to with my videos. Uh, yesterday, I made a big oopsie and I accidentally left my camera out at Jinjim's shop. So I'm on my way out there right now, going to pick it up and I'm also gonna take the ECU out of the Civic and bring it home with me so that I can install what needs to be installed into the ECU. I'll be getting more into that in a minute. I just don't want to make you guys watch this camera any longer. So I'm going to throw you in the air and when I catch you, it will be on the good camera. One, two, three. <laughs> All right, boys, so we're, we're back at the shop today and we're going to be removing the ECU, like I said. So I've already gotten a 10 mil bolt that secures the ECU into the car out. However, there's something else holding it in. I'm not really sure what yet, so I have to unplug it and figure out where the other fastener is. I kind of forgot that I'm supposed to be filming. Yeah. I'm like a YouTuber or whatever, so. Uh, bye, Ginger Jim. Thanks for the ECU. Bye. <laughs> All right, see you, man. <laughs> see ya. Let's roll, boys. And home. All right, boys, so we're on day two now of the ECU upgrade slash chip install. I'm on my way to go buy the chip right now. I did end up deciding to go with Honda, so I'm going to pick up the S300 right now. As soon as I get that, I'm going to head over to like Home Depot or hardware store and pick up some desoldering wick so that I can desolder the computer board of my ECU. And in about an hour and a half or two hours, I'm going to hopefully have that chip installed. Well, here it is, Honda S300. It's only legal for race vehicles. Race vehicle time. Wow, all right, I'm excited I finally got that out of the way. I've been trying to figure out a tuning solution for that car for so long, and now that I finally have it, that's a good peace of mind. I just have to install it now, which is kind of the scary part. Fortunately though, I've always been very interested in computers. I've built a couple of PCs in my life. I really look forward to learning the programming for this thing, learning how it works, learning all the features. This is honestly like another new toy for me, so. Yeah, let's uh, let's get home. I gotta, I gotta hit up Home Depot, like I said, and then we're gonna sit down at the table and we're gonna solder this thing in. So here's the situation. Got the ECU. I got the S300. I got solder. I have a soldering iron. But what I don't have is unfortunate. I just went to three or four different shops. Home Depot, Lowe's, Best Buy, called Menards, called Fry's. Can't find desoldering wick anywhere. So I don't have a way to desolder this board right now. I'll show you guys what I mean. All right, I flipped your guys' perspective around a little bit so it's easier for you guys to see. Basically, I'm a dummy, left all my tools in my car, which is at Jim Jim's shop. No. All right. I guess I can't even open the CCU right now. All right, boys, so we are back on day four of this S300 install. I was finally able to get the cover off because I found a real screwdriver. Also, I received the desoldering wick. I guess it delivered yesterday, but my grandma thought it was something else, so she didn't tell me that it arrived. So it's been sitting around since yesterday. And I guess we're gonna just get right to it and start desoldering some spots on this board. Now, the instructions say to completely remove the board from this housing by taking out the screws on the back. Back, I think I'd be more comfortable working with it still inside of the housing. So I'm gonna leave it like this while I desolder everything. The parts that we need to desolder, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the camera and I'll show you what it, what we need to desolder. So this is what we're working with. This is the board. What we need to desolder is this section right here. This is labeled IC3, as you can see right here. So all of these pins on the top 
and all of these pins in the bottom need to be desoldered. Also, same thing over here for IC4. All 20 of these pins need to be desoldered. The next part is to solder in a jumper into J1, and then we're gonna come over to this section of the board and we are going to clip J12. Please focus. All right, you guys can see J12. We're gonna clip J12. So I'm just gonna follow the instructions off my phone. I'm gonna do them in the order that Honda Addis says to do them, and I'm gonna get started right away. I am gonna make myself a cup of coffee first though because I am a bit tired and I wanna be very awake and focused while I'm doing this because I've never desoldered anything before. Well, I guess I did like one thing, but I didn't do it right. I'm gonna do it right this time and use this desolder wick. I got my coffee, thank God. All right, and the first thing I'm gonna do, which might be a little bit unkosher, but I'm gonna go ahead and like sharpen the tip of the soldering iron. It's pretty broad right now because I've had the soldering iron for a number of years. So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen this tip a little bit, clean it up so it is a little bit more precise for desoldering this board. All right, boys, I don't know. Will it focus? Please focus. Hey, so it's a little better. Let's see how this does. I'm gonna go ahead and get the soldering iron plugged in. I did realize why the manual says to remove the board from the casing. It's because when I go to install the port, I'm not gonna be able to install the port until I cut out this piece of the casing where the port's gonna go. And that's probably just safer to do outside of the casing as it is. I'm gonna do as much as I can with the board inside the case. And then when the time comes, I will remove it. Here's our desoldering wick. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. So I think I already said this, but I've never used this before. This is what it looks like. Now you might be wondering why is this video so long? And I feel like I've searched so much on YouTube for like install guides on this stuff and like done tons of research on this. And I just haven't found like a comprehensive guide that shows all the steps, everything you need to know. And that's kind of what I want to deliver to you guys. I want this to be a one-stop shop video where there are no questions left over at the end of this. I hope that I accomplished that for you guys. If you have any questions or if it feels like I skip over anything, please leave something down in the comment section. Let me know and I'll try to answer as best I can. Also, please leave a like on this video to let me know that you guys like videos that are like this, where I just make it long and just include all the info Try to help you out as best I can. Let's get this soldering iron heated up. All right, so here's the deal. I'm about to attempt desoldering on this board for the very first time using soldering wick. I'm gonna try a couple on my own, see if I can get the hang of it. When I do, then I'll bring you guys in for a very zoomed in shot, very zoomed in look, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. That's the plan. I'm gonna try one right now, see how it goes. Well, I, that's all I really have to say, let's do it. From what I understand, I'm just gonna put this wick over and get it hot. Boy, it's literally on my next try, I figured it out. That was actually so easy. If literally everything goes as easy as this one just did, this is gonna be a piece of cake. I took the desoldering wick and I kinda like, you know, kinda like roughed it up a little bit so it wasn't so tightly packed. Then I melted the solder and then I moved the soldering wick over it and heated up the soldering wick. I'll show you guys up close right now. Let's try this one. Melted and wick. Got it. Boom. Check that out. I don't know. You guys can probably see that. I got the second one perfectly. So that's the goal. Basically, to just get that to happen with every single one. That's what I'm going for. I'm going to desolder literally everything that I have to desolder right now. I'm going to time lapse it all. You'll see it. Food break. Wow. All that soldering and desoldering got you tired. Got you tuckered out. It's time to take a food break. This episode of Yanni Noel's YouTube channel is brought to you by food. Remember to stay healthy and eat your food. What's up, dog? Now back to your scheduled programming. So you guys probably get the idea of desoldering now. I did a pretty good job overall. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'll put my finger next to uh, what I desoldered. So these sections are completely desoldered now. There's a couple of them that don't look 
too great, but I'm gonna try to force a pin through and just see if it'll push it out, push the remaining solder out of the way. I doubt that's how it works, so I'll probably have to go back in with some more of this stuff and figure out a way to get that solder out of there. But as of right now, I'm gonna actually start following the instructions because I haven't really been doing that up to this point. I was supposed to desolder the pins and then solder this computer chip in. I think this is a processor. But anyway, I was supposed to solder this in like first step and I didn't. So I'm gonna do this right now. So I saw in another video that these pins are kind of bowed out. Let's see, please focus. They're kind of bowed out. So I need to press them against something that's straight to straighten them out. So I'm just gonna use the casing of the ECU like so. And I believe the guy literally just pushed them in. Looks a little bit better. It'll probably make it easier to install. And as I suspected, I am gonna have to figure out a way to get the rem remaining solder out of the holes. I'll be back as soon as I can clear out the hole. Okay, I believe I've fixed every single solder point. So before I install this chip, there's something really important that I have to show you. On this chip, on one side, please focus. On one side, there's a little half moon shape. You can probably see it there. Hopefully you can see it. On the other side, there's not a half moon shape. Remember that. On the image on the board, there's a half moon shape on one side. The instructions in every single video is stressing it that you have to put this in in that specific way. So the half moon shapes have to line up. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop this into the board. I'm gonna hold it in, flip it over, solder one of each of the corners, so that way it's held in. And I'm gonna go down the row and solder every single point. Boom. Never gonna there we go. That's better. So now I have uh, one of each of the corners in and I'm just gonna go down the rows now and solder in all the pins. So that chip is soldered in. There it is. Now I think I need to worry about J1. I need to wire in a jumper, solder in a jumper. I need to first uh, refer back to the instructions because I'm not totally sure. Let's see. Desolder IC4, install and solder in the 20 pin latch. Done. Desolder J1, install and solder the supplied jumper. All right, so that was supposed to be step two. So I gotta desolder J1 and install the supplied jumper. I think it's this one. I think that this one is the jumper. I desoldered J1 and installed the jumper, so that's in. Um, I don't think I really have to show you guys, but I will anyway. It's right there. I also installed the first set of pins here, this like really long section, what is it? On IC3 and I soldered them all in. They came out really well overall. So I guess the next step is to just solder in the next set of pins, the, the 14 pins on the IC4, IC3, sorry. And then the next thing I have to do is I have to come over here to CN2, and this is a part that you guys are probably gonna be very interested in. It's numbered one through five. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's numbered one through five. You're only gonna desolder one through four. You're gonna leave five alone, we don't need it. Also, in the Honda S300 kit, it comes with a very long strip of pins like this. You're gonna cut this into sections of 14, two sections of 14, and one section of four. This is for that IC3 section, and this is for that uh, section where we only need to desolder four of the spots. So the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and solder in this last section of 14, and then after I do that, I'm gonna desolder the one through four and solder in this piece right here. So I wanna cut out like All right, boys, so I basically finished soldering everything into the ECU that has to go in. Everything's done, all the sockets are done. The last thing that I really have to do is remove the board from the housing and cut out this section that I marked from the housing. This will allow for the uh, port on the S300 to be accessible from outside the casing. That's what I'm gonna go ahead and do right now. I'm gonna put this away for safekeeping so I don't damage it by accident. I might honestly just try cutting this without removing the board because I don't want to break anything. I don't know how it comes out. It doesn't seem like it wants to.
Yes! Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Alright, we're back in it. We're back in it. Alright, that's an installed Honda S300. Wow. Jesus, like actually, I'm so excited. That took so long. Alright, boys. After all that, I bring to you a P75 ECU with Honda S300 installed. That was one of the most nerve wracking two and a half hours of my car life to date. I very well could have messed something up. I'm not sure. I showed you guys the one spot where I might have burnt the board maybe. If I did burn the board, that's a huge bummer. I hope I didn't. All I really have to do is put the cover back on the ECU and it's done. Basically the last step to install this is just to set it into the pins that you installed, that you soldered in. That's basically it. That's basically the end of the install. I soldered in all the rest of the stuff. This whole thing is done at this point. That's really all I have to say for this video. I'm, I'm pretty much done here. Let me pick you guys up. Let's get personal. So that was a great learning experience for me. I've never done anything like that before. And while it was difficult, while it was scary, while it was nerve wracking, I'm very glad that I did that. Not only does this open me up to new possibilities in terms of tuning, but it also just taught me so much about like computer boards and stuff like that. So I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched. I hope it works. I'm fairly confident that it will, but I guess we won't know until we uh, plug it in initially and try to load on a base map. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video. If you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you guys dislike this video, get the heck out of here. Cause you know it's a kick-ass video. Also, please consider subscribing. I'm gonna be doing a lot more really cool Turbo Civic stuff in the future. GNGM said he wanted to race the Turbo Miata versus the Turbo Civic once the weather gets nice, so that'll be fun. Also, if you guys would like to follow my Instagram, I was live for like most of this Honda to install. So if you guys wanna follow my Instagram and stay up to date, I'm trying to be more active on there. I've said it like a thousand times, but I'm really gonna try to be more active on there. So if you guys want like extra content, extra footage, uh, behind the scenes stuff, Follow my Instagram, it's uh, at Yanni Knowles. It'll be in the description. And as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. Bye.